So I woke up to an email today. The email was from ESPN. They wanted to know my thoughts on McGregor versus Chandler. And that was a really tough one for me. And I wrote them back. I wrote Andrew back. And I was trying to make Andrew laugh. I was trying to kind of be clever. Perhaps I didn't understand that I was working. So I told Andrew, I said, hey, Conor McGregor is going to be undefeated in 2024. And Chael Sonnen is going to be undefeated in 2024 for the same reason. We're not going to fight. Neither one of us is going to have a fight, and therefore neither one of us. What the threat of being beaten, he wrote me back and he said, hey, can I quote you on that? So it was at that point that I realized, oh, that we're being serious. And I said, yeah, I would never write you anything that you couldn't quote me. But moreover, Andrew, I, let's just discuss this a little bit. So Conor McGregor is going to fight Michael Chandler, according to Conor McGregor. That is going to be June 29th, International Fight Week, 185 pounds. So, do you accept that? I mean, I have the right to run with that. I have the right to run with that with a journalistic integrity. I have the right to be wrong. I have the right two weeks from now to have to take back with my journalistic integrity what I've said. And the reason for that is Journalism 101 is cite your source. So it would not matter up, down, left, right, on, off, hot, cold. Wouldn't matter if I have a good source. And in this case, I have Conor McGregor. Like, for me to come out and tell you in a headline, Conor McGregor is going to fight June 29th, International Fight Weekend, Michael Chandler. And my source of that to be Conor McGregor, it keeps me clean, keeps me perfectly clean. But why, why would I choose to believe that? Because it is a choice. It's nothing more than a choice. If we're saying that the source is so reliable, it's beyond rebuke. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That same source four days prior with Christian Ronaldo as a witness said he's going to box Manny Pacquiao. So if I didn't put in headlines, McGregor versus Pacquiao boxing in where, where it is that they go do boxing at. If I, if I don't do that, with what validity and what credibility do I now claim it's McGregor versus Chandler on June 29th? I mean, let's say that I'm writing this, okay? Let's say that I'm, I'm doing this whole thing. I would scold the organization five months in advance for having International Fight Weekend and not having a title shot. That is, the, that's the, that is the way that I would approach that. I would not celebrate the idea that McGregor and Chandler are going to fight. I wouldn't celebrate it because I just can't run the headline. I can't run the headline because I can't be made to look like a doofus for the umpteenth time. I have put that in headlines literally in the teens. I've lost track how many times I have made this claim. So I would come at it differently, and I would say, how dare? How dare the world's leaking promotion not be able to produce a title fight on International Fight Weekend in a city of Las Vegas, the capital for fighting, on a destination weekend, that of Independence Day. That is how I would have approached that, just to get a reaction. But not for nothing, I'll make a very reasonable point. You're going to have International Fight Weekend. You're going to tell me in advance that we don't have a title fight. Can we at least try for a title fight? I mean, a lot of things come around and you, you just can't pull it off. But I mean, I, I watched what got pulled off the last time we went to Fight Island. I even remember the date of October 22nd. I'm not, I'm not one of those nerds that remembers dates, but I know that we lost the main and we lost the co-main. That we resurrected the co-main by making it a number one contendership, whether we honored that or not. We resurrected the main, making a world title shot by grabbing the current goat, Volkanovsky, and flying him to a different continent. I mean, this was an amazing thing done on eight days' notice. You're going to tell me in January that for a fight that's supposed to be in July, but is now going to be at the end of June, we don't have a world title fight on top of the bill? 
That is how I would have approached that. And they said, hey, why are you saying that about us? I said, well, why aren't you giving me accurate information? What do you mean we're not giving you accurate information? We told you it's Connor versus Chandler. No, you didn't, actually. You allowed Connor to pre-record, edit, and later upload a piece of drinking wine. I mean, I really don't have a big problem with that. I really, I got a problem with the swirling of the wine. I mean, there's some things that you just, you just don't do. And you want me to run with it, and it was a game of two truths and a lie. Is Connor fighting Chandler? Yes. Are they scheduled for June 29th? Uh huh. Is it 185 pounds? Absolutely not. So, with what story do I have? Am I running a story because I have the great credibility of one of the principal actors? I have the word of Connor McGregor himself. Is that what this is? Because four days earlier, with Christian Ronaldo in the middle, a much better piece, a much better organically captured piece than the pre recorded, edited, sat on footage that Connor did release. A much better piece. Says he's going to be boxing Pacquiao. So, you can go along, you can go along to get along, or you can have a voice that's different. And if somebody is going to announce a half a year in advance that a perennial weekend's car, pay-per-view must see, does not have a title fight. If you have a journalistic integrity where you would like to climb the rungs and you would like people to hear you, you gotta operate within the bounds. Don't step out of them. Don't try to be the next JLP. Don't do those kinds of things. There's punishment. There's things that come with it. But when you call out a leading organization for International Fight Week, they don't have a title fight? You don't have a title fight? You don't even have a number one contenders match? You got one that was supposed to happen 16 months ago and we're only doing it because we said that we were going to do it 16 months ago? There is still six months on the clock. That headline cannot be true.